Today we're going to be going over the registration process for current WCA middle school students. So when your student receives their form, the first thing they need to do is write their name on the top. So today we're working with Selena Gomez. So she is a current sixth grader going into seventh grade. On the front page of the form, students need to indicate for the English and math step sections if they're going to be going the traditional route or the honors route. So for English, Selena is going to go the traditional route. And then for math, she has indicated that she wants to go the honors path for seventh grade pre-algebra. So she'll also need to get her current math teacher to sign off on her being eligible for that class. So she'll have to bring this form to that teacher and have them sign. Also on the front page, you'll see there's a parent signature line. Once your student has completed the elective options on the back, we ask that our parents sign this form as well. So all the other core classes are taken care of. They're automatically enrolled in those classes. On the back side is the electives, and you'll see our electives are divided up into quarter length, semester length, as well as year length. We even have a class that is being offered that's quarter one through three for history day. There are four quarters in the school year, so those are gonna be the shorter classes. Two semesters in that school year, so those will be for half the year, either the first semester or the second semester. And then that year length elective for AVID will be the whole year. So we are asking our students to select eight elective courses with either a check mark or an X in this column right over here, and then select four alternate courses. To help with deciding what different elective students want to do, they can look at our course catalog, which is located on our website. Let's head over there so I can show you where to find that. So by going to our website at windsorchartacademy.org, you'll see that we have our homepage. Click over here on the tab side, click, click middle school, and then academic advising, course registration. You'll see that we have our course catalog, as well as backup registration forms in case your student loses those. So when you click on our course catalog, it offers all the different electives we have next year, as well as some information about the school year. And it also lists the fees for the different electives. So it's a great place to help inform the student as to what different elective options they have. Let's head back to that course, cap, that course registration form. So now that Selena has selected all the electives she wants to do with her eight check marks and four backups indicated with an A, those alternate courses, she can head to Infinite Campus and place those in there. Additionally, all the directions for this process is listed right over here on this side. So let's go over to Infinite Campus and input these options. Once your student logs into Infinite Campus, they'll have their homepage, which says their name, student number, their current grade year. If you go over here to the More tab on the left-hand side, click Course Registration, WCA Middle School. You'll see that there are two blue options, either Add a Course or Add a Course. Either button works in this next step of the process. So when you click that button, You'll see there's a big long listing all the different course options there are, but you can also type in a course. So one of the classes that she wanted to do was Millionaire Next Door. So if I type in Millionaire, I don't even have to type out the full word because it'll start pulling it open. If you hit the plus button right there, you see it says request and you can request it that way. And then if you hit back, you'll see that it, it populated on her course request form right here. So if we hit back one more time, if we hit add a course, <laughs> that's how we can add another course. Another course she wanted to do was circuits. And so the other option for adding a course is if you select the actual course right there, you can also pull open the screen that says add a request. It also says add as an alternate, and we'll use that when we need to add in our A's. But for right now, this is one of our requests. You can even say, see that it says convert to an alternate or even delete that request. So that way you can edit it as you go along. When you hit back, it'll go back to that big long list of the different courses that we have offered. Selena also wanted to be in symphonic band. So she wanted to do it for the whole year. So semester A and semester B. So I hit that plus button and it goes quickly. So I'm going to add in the rest of her options. So all eight of her options have been placed in now, and so we can add in her alternate selection. So click Add a Course, and again, you have that big long list. So two of the alternatives she wanted was Choir. So if you click on that plus sign, you'll see that alternate is also listed as an option, so you can click on that, and you'll see that it's been indicated as an alternate. But the other way is you can also click on it and say Add an Alternate. And again, you can delete it or convert that to a request. And when we go back, 
it will show up that those two alternates have been requested. I'm going to add in the rest of her alternate. So I have teacher's aid, and then the last one is musical. And I'll add that this way. And then if we go back to our big long list, you'll see those eight electives that were indicated on that registration form with either a check mark or an X, and then her four alternates have been placed in. The last step of this process is to hit print. It will pull open this form that has your student's name, their student number, what grade they're going to be in, as well as those eight electives they have selected and those four alternates they have selected. Then the parent or guardian needs to sign the form, date it, and attach it with that registration form. That also needs to have a parent signature on it as well. So attach those two forms together with the signatures all included on there, including if your student is choosing to do an honors course, having it signed off by their current teacher, and turn it into the middle school front office. From here, the student will meet with the middle school counselor to go over their registration options for next year and what courses they have selected and make sure everything's set to go for next year. If you have any questions, please reach out to the middle school counselor or registrar to answer those questions. Thank you so much for your time today.